Intravenous fluid administration is a very important component in the healthcare industry. Error in this administration can lead to detrimental outcomes in the patient's health. Recently, a study had pointed out to the fact that one out of five accidents that take place in the healthcare industry is due to the lack of monitoring in the IV fluid. Well, one may ask that what could possibly go wrong if you leave it unmonitored just for a few minutes? Well, then that's a good question. But even if you leave it unmonitored for a few minutes, then the level of fluid may reach its threshold limit and then the reverse flow would begin, which means that the fluid would start flowing from the pad into the patient's body, which can be very hazardous for the patient's health. So to avoid this and come up with a solution, we have planned to inculcate technology into our solution. Well, there have been solutions wherein technology has been used, but these aren't as cost efficient and we have used newer modules which are way more efficient. So, we have come up with the IoT based smart IV drip fan which would monitor the level of fluid and it would constantly display the level change on the dashboard which is present in the nursing station. We were very particular and careful in selecting the core components for the project to ensure maximum quality and efficiency and also being cost effective at the same time. So the main core components which we have chosen are the H611 amplifier, the node MCU and the load cell. So Node MCU. It is a low-cost open-source IoT based platform which runs from an inbuilt ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi module. It has exponentially higher static RAM than any other microcontrollers. The reason to select the 5 kg strain gauge load cell is that the accuracy level of the weight measured even in milligrams are precisely right, which is then amplified by the H6711 amplifier which is connected to the load cell and the node MCO since the signals are very weak. The warning indication is produced by the LED lights when a critical level is claimed. There is no secret to success. It's just a result of preparation, hard work and learning from our mistakes. Soon after deciding what we are going to do, we started working on it. First, we envisioned how a prototype should look and designed a 3D model. Once our simulation was successful with the developed model, we started our hands-on work and the progress went on rapidly. We had to overcome lots of obstacles and errors all the way through from programming the microcontroller to designing an ideal circuit. Each step offered its own issues. We had a working model which was modular and ideal and allowed for future improvements and upgrades. Each and every aspect of the prototype had utmost attention put into its designing and working and a roughly program which allowed for addition and deletion of functions and also had the ability to continue the level measurement from where it left off in case of a power cut providing true real-time monitoring. Also a compact, durable and minimal outer design which goes well along with the hospital environment. Mm -hmm. We finalized our design and gave our final touches, I enclosed the circuit with a durable material. But it was just the first version. We redesigned it into a mind-blowingly small size which was uniquely handy. It was a refined piece of work and we were thrilled at what we made. A device with lots of processing power and smart monitoring functions, all in a size smaller than a credit card. I am sure thousands of patients and nurses will benefit from it. Apart from collecting data, visualizing and analyzing data is crucial. Our prototype transmits the data over internet to a virtual dashboard which expresses the data visually. For example, if there are 10 IV stands in 10 different rooms, then the nurses have to go into each and every room and must monitor the level of liquid at regular intervals. But instead, if she uses our smart prototype, she can sit at the nursing station and she can monitor the level of all the 10 IV stands from the computer. By this, she can save a lot of time. She can prioritize her more important works. Unlike other mobile applications and mobile notifications, our prototype works very comprehensively. It can save you a lot of time. To be more productive, you must be the master of your minutes. For this purpose, we use an open source IoT platform provided by Thingsboard services. Thingsboard is a server-side platform which allows you to monitor and control IoT devices. Node MCU, which is the core component of our circuit, is linked to this Thingsboard server. This Node MCU has both firmware which runs on ESP8266 Wi-Fi SOC and hardware which is based on ESP12 module. This Node MCU keeps on pushing data through MQTT protocol to this Thingsboard server. Each nurse can be assigned as a user and credentials can be given to them to access this service. Current fluid levels and their recent trends can be shown graphically and also through widgets on this virtual dashboard. 
The purpose of the prototype has been observed to be succeeding. It will monitor the change in fluid level. As the fluid level decreases, color on the dashboard slowly changes from green to red. It will alert the nurses when it reaches the minimum value or that reflect along with monitoring. We are expecting that this project can also be used in chemical industry or chemical lab where accurate flow is recorded. But the fruit of our hard work is the sweetest and we for sure tasted ours. Now, once the fluid reaches its threshold limit, it would immediately alert the star and give them a minimal amount of time to go and make the necessary changes. As per the saying, what we done to encourage innovation was to just make it ordinary.